Hi everybody, welcome to Crazy Tech Lab. And first of all, I hope you're all doing as well as you can be out there. I know times are tough, whether you've been furloughed, working from home, or watching this when you get back from work. Um, you'll be pleased to know that the PC hardware world continues to turn, and I've got some awesome hardware for you today because Intel has finally announced its 10th gen processors and its Z490 chipset. First though, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you will be aware when I publish new videos. It means a lot and it also means that I get more support. I can create more videos and I can create them more regularly as well. So it's always appreciated if you subscribe. So hit that button. Um, today though, it's all about the Z490 chipset and the new motherboards that we're gonna be seeing released over the next few days. And today I have three brand new Z490 motherboards from MSI and uh, they are the MEG Z490 Godlike, the MPG Z490 Gaming Carbon Wi-Fi, and the MEG Z490 Ace. But I'll also be looking at the rest of MSI's stack later on in this video, including its mini ITX and micro ITX options, as well as the rest of the ATX stack too. So to start with then, it's important to note that the Z490 chipset and new LGA1200 socket are not compatible with previous generation CPUs. So you will not be able to use a 10th generation processor in your, Z4, in your Z390 motherboard, and you will not be able to use a 9th generation CPU in your Z490 motherboard either. However, the actual socket mounting mechanism for coolers is exactly the same. Uh, the distance between the holes on the motherboard are exactly the same. So you will be able to transplant an existing cooler from your old LGA 1151 system into an LGA 1200 system. So a bit of good news there. Uh, with MSI's motherboards, there have been a few improvements over previous generation models. Many motherboards, if not all of them, in the MEG range now include enhanced active cooling for the, for the VRMs, that's cooling with a fan basically, and uh, all of its models now support at least six layers in the PCB for optimal thermal and overclocking performance, uh, or so MSI claims, uh, plus you get 2.5 gigabit LAN across the board on its Z490 motherboards, as well as a full fat Type-C front panel uh, USB ports, that's USB 3.1, to support the latest cases. Um, and in addition, uh, where there's RGB lighting, every motherboard will have a three pin digital addressable header as well as four pin support. So every MSI Z490 motherboard will also have an integrated IO shield. So it's sounding pretty good from MSI's specifications and uh, the improvements. We're kind of seeing the best of what uh, Z270, Z370 and Z390 had to offer, but it's kind of off, it's on offer across the range now, basically. So the active cooling comes courtesy of a small fan embedded in the left side of the motherboard, which uh, will vent through the IO shield, but not every motherboard will include these. The Z490 Godlike does, the Z490, uh, Z490 Ace does, but the gaming carbon Wi-Fi does not. The difference, we don't really know yet because no one has any CPU samples, so we'll just have to see, wait and see what happens further down the line. Um, MSI is using ISL phase controllers, which monitor the dual outputs from the phase doublers. MSI is using phase doublers here, um, and that's to ensure consistent and stable power delivery, and uh, has been, they've kind of been specifically designed for Intel 10th gen processors to make sure that you hit those boost, those high boosting frequencies as often as possible. Unfortunately, when I did this video, I didn't have my, uh, my Intel uh, 10th gen sample yet, uh, so I couldn't fire up any of the boards to see if those cooling fans made a difference, what the VRMs are like, that kind of thing. But I'll hopefully be looking at, uh, looking at them soon because MSI also promises some changes to their EFI 2, which I also haven't been able to look at. Um, Interestingly, MSI also states that the motherboards come with the hardware necessary to support PCI Express 4.0. But as of yet, there's been no mention of this from Intel. We um, journalists had the press briefing with Intel yesterday and no mention of PCI Express 4.0 there either. So 
given the disclaimers that are, that are in and uh, on the boxes of a lot of, a lot of the uh, motherboard samples that I've had so far, I'm guessing that PCI Express 4.0 probably won't be supported this time round, but it will. It may come in with 11th gen CPUs, which of course we're hoping will be compatible with Z490 motherboards as well. Um, so the motherboard that I'll be looking at in this video, which is the Z, uh, sorry, MEG Z490 Godlike, um, it's got a pair of USB 3.1 Type C Thunderbolt 3 compatible ports, a 10 gigabit LAN port. 16 phase power delivery using phase doublers and um, an integrated VRM cooling fan as well. So I think we can probably agree that the MEG Z490 Godlike is going to be pretty expensive, but also pretty crazy in terms of features as well. It is MSI's flagship Z490 motherboard. It's not going to be the one that everybody goes for. There are plenty more in the range, including some really nice looking mini ITX motherboards, as you've seen the, with the Unify. So uh, I'm very, very much looking forward to getting my hands on, uh, on some of those, especially the Mini ITX one, because I'm all about Mini ITX. Um, but also, you know, there's a whole bunch of other stuff at a, a load of different price ranges. Um, we're not really allowed to talk about pricing, unfortunately, so that's going to have to wait for another day, as will the performance numbers, because Intel has laid down the law as far as talking about performance numbers goes. I don't even have my, my 10th gen uh, CPU sample yet either, so 
We'll just have to wait until May uh, to get some more definitive answers about price and performance with Intel's 10th gen CPUs and Z490 motherboards. So until then, thanks for watching. And uh, also don't forget to subscribe. It really means a lot uh, if you subscribe to my channel because it helps me, uh, helps me grow here on YouTube. And uh, don't forget to check out all my other videos as well because I'll be publishing a load more Z490 based content and Intel 10th gen content over the next few days as well. So check me out and uh, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.